lovely, wonderful people. An open letter has come to the chief justice and um, the judges that are taking part in the presidential election tribunal, saying, do not gamble with the faith of the people because you want to gain some favor from some people. Remember that Nigeria is beyond you. What I mean by that is after a period and a, a, and a time, you will see that you will go, but your children, your grandchildren will be here. And whatever decision you make today, we go a long way to affect not just you, but those around you. And so we must be very careful in order for us to ensure that we do what is needed, what is right to change the course of the nation. And so when it is time for us to make the right decision in terms of all that is happening now, everybody must ensure that they do not allow anyone to take charge of, you know, of what belongs to every single person because of personal interest, because of a few naira, dollar, or whatever the currency may be. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Once again, I sincerely greet you and hope the latest issue of this episode finds you in good health. Chief Justice, we have sent letters and messages before. The essential areas which need strict scrutiny, especially the aspect of our presidential election tribunal, with which judgment will be given in a very clear, close date. We are all anticipating and waiting for this day carefully. However, we are pleading that you must become very careful in making these decisions as it could either make or mar. We do not want people who will come there and make a decision that will destroy this nation, this country, because of selfish interests. We must make decisions that will move Nigeria forward. Nigeria is beyond one man. Nigeria is beyond certain people. Nigeria is beyond those who want to hold the nation in captivity. And so we must look beyond us and we must ensure that every single one of us are doing all that is needed and right to change and to save this nation. The problem is we understand exactly what the verity of all this is, but nobody is rising up to the occasion to ensure that the right thing is done. We must not trade the essence of our people for a few gifts or things that may be given in order for us to sway judgment in some people's favor. We must be careful because at the end of the day, this will not just affect one person. It will affect the whole of the nation. Whatever we do today will affect Nigerians as a whole. And so this is why we are pleading that everyone give the best. Look into all the evidences that are before you and give the right judgment in terms of how things can move and how the nation can be better. We do not want you to judge out of sentiment we do not want you to judge because some people discussed that with you. But we really want you to look into this matter and to judge in terms of bringing Nigeria into the relevant place that could possibly move her forward. So my lovely people, they don't send open letter to the Chief Justice and those in charge of uh, what is going on saying we cannot um, continue to allow this to happen. That Nigerians must, you know, must ensure that they do what is needed, what is right, in order for the country to move forward. Everybody wants this country to, to move forward. Everybody is looking at opportunity where this country can advance. And so we don't want the same thing over and over again. The country has gone through a lot. We have been, you know, we've been seeing this for a long time now, and we cannot afford to allow the same thing to happen. You know, we cannot afford to allow the same thing to happen. So what exactly are we doing and how can we, you know, save and change this whole situation and make things better? The issue is that, you know, problem and the situation is that people who have deep pockets want to maneuver and want to put things in their own, you know, for themselves. They don't care what happens to others. They don't really care. They want to ensure that, you know, they do things for themselves in a way, in certain ways that will please them. And this is why every one of us, you know, as we are looking at it, we are, we are carefully, you know, ensuring that things changes.
okay that things changes in order for nigeria to be better everyone must become careful everyone must look into it and we must ensure that you know true transformation that we've been praying about you know come to be so these are possibilities and you know these are things that are happening so it is what it is and if we want this country to be better you know we need to speak out very soon the results will be given very soon the result for the election will be called and then we we just want to we want to understand what will happen going forward by the time the result is called by the time you know all is said and done what will happen next what will be the you know the next line of uh, you know the next line of action you know what will be the next line of action so these are the things that are happening so my lovely people you can see that um, it is important that we rise up and we do not allow the same thing you know so people individuals uh, you know, are rising up and are saying, no, no more, no more. We can't allow the same thing to go on. We can't allow the same thing. So Nigerians, if there is any time that everybody, you know, must allow, you know, this country to become better, this is the time, okay? This is the time, you see? So it is what it is. If there is any time at all where this nation has really, really suffered, we've suffered in the hands of bad leaders who have not given us the opportunity you know, to, 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 to really fly as a country, to really move forward as a country. We've been in the hands of those who have not uh, allowed us to thrive. So we want this country to become a better place. We really want this country to become a better place. Okay, so Nigerians, let's rise up. Let's ensure that um, we speak out. You know, Nigerians use their own money to put out uh, the billboard saying, all eyes on the judiciary and the federal government was quick to say ah put it down put it down they are they are putting pressure on the judiciary what pressure indeed what pressure are you sure they are putting pressure on the judiciary or on you it's pressure on the judiciary the pressure is on you you know so it is what it is and so that's why we don't want the same thing we don't want it we don't want the same thing over and over again we want this nation to be better we want things to be better we want this nation we want things to change the people who who have opportunity to make a change, what are they doing about it? And how do we, you know, how do we get this nation into the place it needs to be? It's when you and I, every one of us rises up, okay, and do all that is necessary and needed to change this nation. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.